here's a hashtag van life adventure for you. And I am so hot and so stressed out that I don't care if all this looks horrible. Yesterday, I went to upgrade the fan, right? And I checked the wattage. It wasn't too high, but I got a bigger fan and I've been using the bucket to blow cold air. Today is the hottest day that I will face in the van. It's well into the 90s. It's not even noon. And uh, I made it through last night through this approach. This morning I get up, unplug the fan from the outlet connected to the inverter, and I hear an alarm. Never good. I go down into here and we'll just all go together. And the short story is that the inverter blew. And I have no idea why a, a low wattage fan would blow the inverter, but I have no power, <laughs> no way to keep myself cool on the hottest day in the van. These are the adventures and all you have to look forward to when you're out in the road, all right? So let's go under here and take a look at this shit show. The lights still work, don't ask me how that works. I have no, I'm not an electrician. That's why I hired one. But this, where's my hand? This is what started to alarm. I called Michael Hambly, who you all remember, who did this whole setup. You know, Michael is hundreds of miles away, and so we're trying to do it over the phone. And we checked the fuse box, I checked the breakers, we checked the battery connections, everything. And it's not that the batteries are drained, I don't think. It's just that my little 400 watt inverter, for whatever reason, decided to shit the bed today. So Michael, God bless him, tried to provide over the phone tech support. And we can't figure it out except that this is just kind of a basic bitch inverter. You know, we didn't know how much power I would need. He was trying to save me some money. It's 400 watts. I don't really give a shit what the reason is. <laughs> I just need some power in this van. So I slept at Walmart last night. I'm gonna go into Walmart. I'm gonna take this as an opportunity, opportunity to upgrade the inverter to hopefully a thousand watt inverter. I, I have to have, like I have to be able to have a fan in here. I will die up in this bitch if I do not have a van in here. So we're gonna try to do it, Road roadside support. But, um, yeah, I mean, like, this is the, the real deal shit that you will face doing this, okay? I know that I've hurt a lot of feelings with my potty mouth, and people criticize all the time that I'm cynical, but this is a reality of living out of a car that, no, it was never designed to do this, okay? So, here we go. Um, the trip stops, and I have got to take care of this before I keep moving, because... The fridge is hooked up to it. I can, the way I make money powering my electrical devices, my computer, that's hooked up to it. The lights are hooked up to it. And if all that fails and doesn't work, I might as well be in a tent. Actually, a tent would probably be a little bit nicer right now. All right, let's go to Walmart. We need a thousand watt inverter and a prayer. We need some Jesus right now because I am in a hell of a mood. Walmart doesn't carry large inverters, they carry 120 watt inverters, which I'm not sure what the point of that is. So I gotta go find an auto store or a Lowe's or I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to go find. I'll probably have to get it shipped to me, but then I gotta find somewhere to be, or somewhere to get power in the meantime. I guess I could go stay in an RV park. So, all right, let's go find an inverter. Advanced Auto Parts also doesn't have inverters. They have converters, but not inverters. So I talked to Michael. I didn't cry, I've not cried yet. <laughs> I don't usually cry unless I'm supremely frustrated and, and we're getting close. Uh, and I think what the answer may be is that I'm gonna have to drive out of my way to a friend's house to plug in and then wait for the appropriate part to arrive. That said, you know, I, I've heard from a lot of people who want to build as they go or build on the road. I can't not recommend that enough because the tools that you need and the parts that you need are really just not readily available. There are portable inverters 
but I need something I can mount on the wall. Otherwise, I'm going to have this inverter like moving around the back. So it's a tricky thing. Again, this cargo van was never meant to be a babe bus. It's meant to be a cargo van. Instead, it's carrying this precious cargo. So I'm going to wait for Michael to give the high sign on that. And then I think ultimately I'm going to have to order something online and have it shipped. Which again, another tip is to have spots along your trajectory where you know people and you can have things shipped because when you're out in unfamiliar territory, you know, where are you going to have something delivered? Leaving West Marine. West Marine shelves are empty in the inverter section. Why would you keep those in stock, right? So now I've got to drive 30 minutes away to a different location where that West Marine does keep their shelves stocked. The adventure continues, kids. Also, because the van is now getting dangerously hot, I have all my technology, all my cameras, my laptop, water, just carrying everything around with me from the gym where I went to cool off because I can't leave it in the van because the van is well over 100 degrees inside. So yes, again, the adventure continues. I'm telling you, hashtag fuck all this. I finally have the blessed inverter. It is a name that I can't pronounce. And, you know, here's the, so the weird thing that happened is that, you know, the lights are still working, the fridge is still working. So I know that the batteries themselves are not drawn down and dead. But whatever I did when I unplugged the new big fan, and fans don't take a lot of it, it doesn't matter. Whatever happened, the inverter just freaked out. And so I called Michael and he recommended getting a thousand watt inverter. So the trade off there is that a thousand watt inverter, according to Michael, is going to drain down my batteries a lot quicker. And so I'm gonna have to be much more careful. Um, but I'm like desperate. I'm like, it is approaching 100 degrees and it's just, it's a stressful thing when you're out on the road and you're away from your support system and people you know who can help trying to do this stuff. So I'm gonna call Michael and we're gonna go through step by step of just swapping them out. Um, and then I've gotta make sure that this is well ventilated and not gonna fall off. And then the one that's busted will just stay up on the wall until I get home. I got a modified sign inverter and I was really freaked out about that recommendation because everyone says to get sign. Both Michael and the folks at West Marine agreed. They said, look, as long as you're not running medical devices or you're not, you know, working on a sensitive electronic and then you go turn on a blender, uh, you should be fine. And the difference was about $100. So I got the modified sign. <sighs> Let's just see if it works. I'm gonna try to hook up my GoPro to go through switching these out. Um, but yeah, <laughs> hashtag van life. Hey, I just realized this, I just opened it up and it doesn't have any of those clips in it. Do I need to go buy those separate? Got ready to install it and there are no cables in the box. There are no cables in the box! <laughs> so I gotta run back in and get cables. Also, I, I think I forgot to mention that, you know, the, the first thought was that maybe a fuse in the inverter had popped and whatever the make model design of the one I had, you it either doesn't have an internal fuse or you can't access it. So, so hold off in the comment section on that one. I've gotta go buy some cables. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, so keep keep the black clamp on, but disconnect on the, the battery. Okay, but, yeah, but disconnect the wire from it so that you can move the wires any which way. Okay, that, you need to get 
that was yeah. that was my problem. Okay. Yeah. With a with a metal with a metal tool? Yes. It doesn't have a it doesn't have a plastic handle. You're fine, you're not gonna get shot. And the, the only way you will get shot is if you touch the other side over there that's got the nuts on it. Yeah, I'm gonna get shot on the other side. There we go. Take the black clamp off. All right, done. Okay. So Michael's on the phone and I think we're, I've got this one re, re-clamped and now I gotta do this one. And I'm not I dead yet. Got, the guy just showed up. Yeah, the, my, my new best friend at West Marine who let me use this tool and has, <laughs> has been also making jokes about my untimely death in here. Yep, take, take the, take the bolt off and put the black, ter the, put the black wire to the black terminal on the inverter. So exactly what I did for the other one. Yep, hey, have him, have him double, uh, check you with, on your red if you don't feel comfortable. I, um, okay, alright, so black one, attach that. Okay, Advise, not make it not no, no, I'm not. I'm not screwing with all that. So this is gonna go just like I did the last one, yeah? Yep, just like the last one. Oh, it sparked. That's a good. It should have been just a little spark. Yeah, but why did that happen? Why did that happen at all? That's a good. That's a good sign. That, that was a good sign. <laughs> yep, that means the battery's got power in. So how am I gonna do this without getting sparked? You're gonna be fine. Just go go ahead. It it, it, it should have just sparked kind of one time, and that was that was it. All right. So I I need to just be prepared that that's gonna happen. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Now that will not shock me when I go to touch it with the bolt. Nope. It won't hurt you at all. Okay. Have more faith in me, King Sorry. All right, that is bolted on. Bolted on and tight. Yes. Okay, now go on the front of the inverter. There should be a power button. So, yep. all that's connected. Okay, it, it turned on, it says 12.7. You have got power. And then a hero comes along. The strength to carry on. Roughly, I don't know, eight hours later, I have power. And yes, that is bungee cord <laughs> to the battery because I have to attach it to the wall and I'm not getting involved in all that right now. This is the old inverter that died. This is the new one. It was pretty expensive, um, but I was able to call Michael and on speakerphone, he walked me through every God blessed step. And I, I mean, if you don't know anything about doing electric work, it's intimidating. Like I hate doing anything with electricity. Power, power, holla, power. So she's, she's rocking and rolling, I guess. I mean, it, it behaves very differently than the other one, but while some of, probably a lot of you will not face this specific issue on the road, my point is, is that you really need a team <laughs> of people who are good at stuff that you're not to be there. I mean, how many electricians do you know will pick up the phone throughout the day while they're working with other people to walk you through how to attach your own inverter and like rewire this whole thing? None. That's why Michael was, the patron saint when the first electrician screwed me over and today he gets I told him I was gonna send him a cape and that it would have glitter on it I think he's actually kind of excited about that so everything should be good to go again and thank God because I am drenched in sweat it is hot beyond belief the Sun is finally starting to set and let's give it let's give it a go this is the fan 
that ruined my day. That's right. Stan is my bitch now. Oh, thank God. I was, I was really, I, I think I would have been panicking anyway, but the fact that the weather and not having a way to keep cool at night was, that, that just sent me like over the, the crazy ginger spinster ledge. <laughs> So get yourself an amazing electrician. If you're anywhere near Wilmington, North Carolina, and you want to build out your van, please give this man some business. You can drop it off. I'll hang out with you at the beach. You can come see my cows that I'm absolutely going to buy when I get home, and we'll get it done. But when stuff breaks, you know, everyone just thinks that like, oh, you'll just pull off into a mechanic or an RV store. And what you don't realize is that those places are all booked up with customers and they're at least two weeks out. So that would mean that I would be two weeks without power in this heat, in this van. Oh no. Oh no. You gotta have, you gotta have a dream team behind all your dreams. And I got mine as far as electric work goes. All right, I'm gonna go take like a third shower today to try to cool off and then get back on this road. I'll talk to y'all later.